Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through how you can set heart rate alerts per activity on your Garmin Instinct watch. Now I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. Shouldn't matter which version Garmin Instinct you've got, this video should work the same for everybody. The other thing I'll say is don't get this confused with some of the other heart rate alerts that are on this watch. For example, the abnormal heart rate alert is totally different than what we're looking at here. What we're looking at in this video is your watch allows you to set certain heart rate alerts per activity that you're doing. So let's go into it. There's a few different ways we can get into this. I'm gonna show you the way I recommend. I always recommend going in through your menu settings, set up the activities the way you want first, and then go do the activities, but you can actually adjust your settings in the activities. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna press and hold the menu button. I'm gonna arrow down or up to settings, press GPS to select settings, and then I'm gonna choose activities and apps. Now what we're talking about here with the heart rate alert it's going to be specific per activity and app, which basically means I don't have to choose to have the heart rate alert on a given activity. Maybe the hiking activity, I don't want a heart rate alert, that's fine. On the walking activity, I want to set an alert to where whenever my heart rate gets between a certain range, I want to be alerted. If it's too low, alert me. If it's too high, alert me. And then we'll go set a different one for the hunt activity just for fun. So. For the given activity that you want to set a heart rate alert for, we're just going to press GPS to select the activity. And then the first thing you should see is the activity settings for walk settings. I'm going to press GPS to get into it. The second option should be alerts. We're just going to arrow down to alerts, press GPS to select alerts. And in my case, I don't have any alerts set up, so I'm going to press GPS to add a new one. The second value in here is heart rate. Now you can set multiple alerts per activity, but you can only have one heart rate alert that's set up. And I'll show you that once we get into here. So I'm gonna press GPS to select heart rate. The first thing it's gonna present us with is a high alert. Basically, at what point does the watch need to notify you of a high heart rate alert? You can leave this off. You don't have to set a high alert, or you can choose any of your heart rate zones as a threshold to alert you or you can go down to the very bottom and you can set a custom value. So if I just wanted to say, look, alert me if my heart rate gets to 160, well, let's say five. If my heart rate gets to 165 beats per minute, alert me of a high alert. Once you choose the value that you want, it'll take you into a low alert. Again, you don't have to choose a low alert. I can leave this off or I can choose a certain zone or I can choose a custom value. In this case, let's say, look, if I get as low as warm up, alert me that it's low. Now I've set a heart rate alert for the walking activity. If my heart rate gets below 88 beats per minute, I'm gonna get a low heart rate alert. If it gets to 165 beats per minute, I'm gonna get a high heart rate alert. I can go in here and I can adjust this any way I want to, or I can turn the alert off or I can remove the alert completely from the activity if I want to. But that's how we choose it. Now that's just for the walk activity. Let's go back and let's choose the hunt activity. So when I go hunting, maybe I don't care about the low heart rate. My doctor just says, hey, you can't get overly excited if your heart rate gets above certain threshold, you need to take it easy. When I go hunting, I don't want my heart rate to get too high. Let's choose an alert for that. So I'm gonna press GPS to select hunt. Again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go into hunt settings. We're gonna go down to alerts. You'll notice that there's no alerts in hunt because we just set up a heart rate alert for the walking activity, but the hunting activity has none. I'm gonna press GPS. We're gonna go through the exact same thing that we just did. We're gonna do heart rate for high alert. I can just choose, I'm just gonna choose the maximum, uh, the threshold number five for my heart rate zones, and I'm not gonna choose a low alert. So now, if I do the hunting activity and my heart rate hits 176 beats per minute, it'll alert me that my heart rate's too high. Once you're done, you can just press the back button. Once you go do the given activity, if your heart rate gets within, within the ranges of the alert that you specified, you'll receive the heart rate alert. Very easy, I hope it makes sense. As always, if you've got any questions, post them in the comments, be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.